welcome back to Physio Tutors. My name is Andreas and today's topic is going to be passive range of motion. If you haven't seen our video on how to conduct active range of motion, head over to this link and watch that and then you can come back here. So why do you do passive range of motion? The goal of your assessment here is to get information on the so-called end feel. An end feel in a joint can either be abrupt or hard, as in bone-to-bone -bone approximation or if it's a ligamentary issue, or it can be soft, uh, as into, for example, weak tissue approximation or passive insufficiency of the antagonist muscle. To detect a pathological situation, you would want to compare your findings of passive range of motion to a more normal end feel that you would expect in a healthy joint. Before you conduct this assessment, it is highly crucial that you inform your patient that this assessment will most likely provoke any symptoms like pain. As the name indicates, this assessment is completely done by you as a therapist and your patient should try to relax as much as possible. For flexion, bring the patient's knee to his chest as far as possible. The patient, of course, should relax. When you get to the end of the possible movement in this joint, gently push over this limit to check for the end feel. There. 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 Make sure that when you test both limbs, your hand placement should always be the same. For extension, your patient is lying prone. To test the passive range of motion, fixate the hip joint and bring the leg up as far as possible. There. For abduction, lift the patient's leg slightly off the table and ask the patient to give you all of his weight. You can place your free hand on the opposite side on the pelvis to check for compensations while performing abduction passively. Now you're going to bring the patient's leg outwards as far as possible. To test abduction, ask the patient to cross his legs. Hand placement is pretty much the same as an abduction. You're going to lift the leg slightly off the table and the patient is going to give you all of his weight. And then you're going to position your other hand on the pelvis and you're going to move the leg inwards. For internal and external rotation, you're going to flex the hip and the knee both in a 90 degree angle. For internal rotation, you're going to want to move the heel outwards. For external rotation, you're going to move the heel inwards. So guys, this has been our video on passive range of motion. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it, favorite it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And if you want, you can check out our video on active range of motion over here. This has been Andreas for Physio Tutors. I'll catch you next time.